Thank you for sitting down with me. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for having us on. Blaze, you're known for being a wildly popular singer-songwriter. <laughs> That's me. But you're also known as the face of Deception Cosmetics. Also me. Busy woman. Tell me about it. Is it safe to say you're used to being written about in the headlines? I am. But probably not headlines like the most recent ones. No. If you haven't been following the story, Blaze's career took a hit with the viral posting of an unauthorized recording. Is that correct? It is. Can you tell us about it? The recording was of my mother, who was discussing the fact that I'm gay. Not just discussing the fact that you're gay, but talking about it in a disparaging way, specifically in regards to your relationship with Christina. That's correct. Christina, you've been openly gay for some time. I have. And you were the driving force behind an LGBTQ plus nonprofit in Port Charles, New York, who, upon hearing the leaked recording, distanced themselves from you. Unfortunately, yes. Not the driving force part, um, the distancing part. Got it. If you don't mind sharing, what exactly did the organization take issue with? Well, uh, their perspective was that I couldn't be an effective advocate for LGBTQIA plus youth while being in a closeted relationship. And I personally feel like they may have misjudged or, or misinterpreted the situation and I'm really hoping they change their minds. I don't want to speak. I was at a meeting in Deception when I heard the recording. My mother was there as well. Oh. That must have been interesting. <laughs> One word for it. How did it feel in that moment hearing your mother say those things about you? I was upset, sad, but mostly I was furious. Furious at her choice of words? Or furious at something you'd worked so hard for so long to keep private was now public? All of the above. One thing we all really want to know, and it's okay if you decline to answer, did your mother's feelings catch you by surprise? Not really. I knew my being gay wasn't easy on her, that she was raised with a less tolerant lens on most social issues. What upset me the most was the recording itself. The fact that it existed, you mean? Initially, I had no idea that it had been made and released without her consent. All I heard was my mother's voice saying all these things about me and Christina. I, I didn't understand that her privacy had been violated too. How would you describe your relationship with your mother over the years? Complicated. Most of us would probably say that, right? But it was steady. I always knew where I stood and my mom's an excellent business manager, sacrificing a lot for my career. Has this incident changed things between you? It's a little raw right now. But she's still my mom. I think, I hope we can repair our relationship. It just takes time. Well, luckily we have that in speeds. Every agent in the 